My name is Matthew Chung and I'm one of the structural and interventional cardiologists here at Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist. And in this video today, I'd like to discuss closure of patent foramen ovale to treat cryptogenic stroke. Patent foramen ovale, or PFO, is uh, commonly referred to as a hole in the heart. This is actually a structure that's present when we're inside our mother's womb before we're born. When we're in the, the womb, the lungs do not function. Um, and so the way that the baby gets oxygenated blood to the rest of the body is by way of this PFO. Once we're born though, this um, channel typically closes in the majority of adults. However, there's a large proportion of people where this channel doesn't completely close, and so it remains patent or open, and we refer to this then as a patent foramen ovale or PFO. For many people, this is not a problem at all, but there's a small proportion of patients where this small communication between the venous and the arterial side of their heart can allow for things like blood clots to travel through that communication and then travel to the brain and cause a stroke. And this is something that we call cryptogenic stroke. And all this means is these patients don't have some of the more traditional risk factors for stroke. So things like atrial fibrillation, which we know can lead to stroke, or plaque in the carotid arteries that can break off and cause a stroke. We typically will further evaluate this with a transesophageal echocardiogram. And if the patient is confirmed to have this, then we would consider closing it. So what a patient can expect if they're being considered for a PFO closure is they'll come into the hospital on the day of their procedure. We do this procedure in a cath lab, not an operating room. And we do it under conscious sedation, meaning we give the patient medications to make them feel sleepy, but we don't have to put them completely to sleep and put them on a breathing machine. Once the patient's relaxed, we'll put numbing medication in their groin and then put a catheter through the vein to deliver the patch to the heart. It typically takes 30 minutes, maybe up to 45 minutes or an hour. And then the patient will stay in the hospital one night. And the next day, if they're in an echocardiogram shows that the device is in good position, we'll let them go home. Recovery time is incredibly fast after undergoing catheter-based closure of a PFO. Once the groin site itself heals after a few days, patients are back to doing whatever they enjoy. In terms of follow-up, we'll see these patients back in the office in about a month to talk with them to see how they're feeling. And we also get an echocardiogram to evaluate the device at that time to make sure that it is in a good position. So if a patient undergoes catheter-based closure of their PFO, this actually will reduce their risk of recurrent stroke by about 50%. And this is compared to just being on medications such as blood thinners or something like aspirin that can also reduce the risk of stroke. But compared to these medical therapies, putting in a closure device will reduce that risk by half. 